heading up uh, on a Lufthansa flight. We're flying to Madrid. Frankfurt first. <laughs> oh, yes, Frankfurt. And then to Madrid. Yeah. Um, preface here, we're going to do an airline review. This is the experience of flying on Lufthansa's double decker, first class, business class uh, plane. Um, we're in the business class lounge. We had some issues, they couldn't find our ticket, but we are here and it's all good. Yeah, I was at first was going to start this off with like a, uh, a bash of Lufthansa because of the issues I was having with them because they couldn't find, like our booking was great, I don't know, all the system issues. It but it was actually, it was, it, it was Aeroplan's and issue and they were great, they fixed it, Lufthansa was great, they fixed it, we're all good. Our flight's delayed, but that's not the end of the world. We're first going into the Maple Leaf Lounge. Snacks. We've actually been in this lounge before, but it's pretty basic, but it's nice. It's got some drinks, and you've got some food, and you have a little lounging area over there with a the TV. We've got a little snack bar. Got some food. You should have a cookie, something yourself if you want. Alrighty, Katie, we are heading out of the lounge now. How was your visit? Good food? It's good. Yeah, it's really good. They actually have like some really good food along here. They got a nice little area you can sit and eat. Service, Service yeah, it was incredible. They got like a made-to-order bar and then food rotating through here. They have actual bar bar here. Um, and there's restrooms. You got beer, wine. No, I got some water. Uh, and they got the lounge area over here. But yeah, it's really nice. It's uh, good for short-term stops and works for pit stop for us for now. And now we're heading to the flight to board. And we're having our double decker. So we're going to take you on the upper deck of the Lufthansa flight. Double decker out there. Go up the stairs to our private, not so private, upstairs cab. Very cool. Okay, so we're up here in this locked fire up in the upper deck. Um, there's no boarding up here because it's just like basically like a small little cabin up top. Um, you just take steps to get up here. And there's only probably 20, 25 seats up here. So we have the screen, which does a little bit of a tilt out, depending on how you're sitting. And then we have a pouch here with a seat with all of your safety things, a little storage bin. Have a spot for your uh, legs when you go up and you're sleeping, and tons of room here on the side. Um, you probably not supposed to store things there, but you could probably put things there during the flight if you needed to. On the side here, we have your controls, so all of your cushion controls will make you lay down and adjust depending on how you want to sit. So if you're laying flat, you can change the firmness of your cushion as well. In the arm handle, we have a tray. Test if I can get it out. Push here. There we go. Comes out like so. Lots of space to work. There is also a TV remote in your arm tray, so you can use this to control your TV. And depending on whether or not you want a seat adjustment, you can push this guy down. It can go completely flat so it's not sticking out in you. Storing our shoes underneath here. Usually you're not supposed to, but we always do. Yeah. And we have found our little pouch. We weren't sure if we had one or not, but it's in here. Boom. Bottle of water. And the pouch for with all your supplies. fragrances and different products like lip balms and whatnot in there. Ourselves a your headset. You can put your headset in here to keep oh this is sort of the uh, headphones the antibacterial or whatnot. This is the eye mask. We have earbuds, earplugs, socks with a lovely little bow. A toothbrush kit with a fresh mint. 
and a little thing saying not to use plastic bags. Hmm. Hmm. So like when you arrive, you just arrived and you're staying in um, Frankfurt or wherever your arrival point is. Um, they have a, an area where you can go and have like a buffet breakfast and everything when you get in and have a full breakfast. Because usually the breakfast and the planes are too too filling. Um, what's cool about yeah, what's cool about that too is with the wines, they actually have some German wines. So it's always nice when they kind of feature their own uh, local products um, versus just having like a French wine and a South American wine and that's it. Uh, but lots of different cocktails you can get, and no complaints so far. This app is dead quiet up top here. Like, it feels weird filming because it's like a library virtually. Library. Anyways, we're just doing, uh, we're boarding the rest of the plane, and then we're going to take off shortly. So we'll keep you posted on the entertainment system next, actually. Haven't checked that one out. On our screen, and we are going to find ourselves. Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't know how to do this. Oh, take like a mouse. I got a little mouse on my thing. Here we go. Entertainment highlights. What else we got here? Scan this code. Personalize your in-flight experience. Yeah, notifications, music, language, brightness, etc. Let's crank this up. Ooh. Light on off. Okay, so they got movies, best of the TV, they have album selection, they have playlists, there's podcasts, there's live TV, there's sports, there's games, uh, well being, audiobooks, kids, a whole bunch of different things. So, like, if we went into movies, let's see, cause we want to just find out what the good movies are. And uh, the latest Hollywood. And here are our options. The headphones for your entertainment system come out of the side of the chair here, so you have a little slot where the headphones stash. And they have little pads you can put on them to for sanitary purposes in your package. Um, they're bows, they're not noise cancelling, um, but they're they're nice, they're good, they're good headphones. Like no complaints. Um, outside of not being noise cancelling, but not end of the world.
got the full pod there that lays down flat. And you have a nice little pillow with it. Comfy? She didn't think it was that comfortable. I thought it was really comfortable. I slept really well. But they're not bad. I mean, it's not at worst for sure. Uh, and so a bit of a mixed bag review between the two of us here on sleep quality. Um, I thought it was pretty comfortable. It came plenty of place comfortable. But overall, it was an enjoyable experience. But I had no complaints overall compared to some other airlines we've flown. Again, Dreamliners on Air Canada been better overall. But I think it's partially because they're also just like a newer plane. So a little more perks, a lot more desk space, etc. Food is really great for breakfast. Um, so the dinner was awesome. pushed really easily. I was like putting a glass of water on there and then my seat was moving because there was a glass of water be sitting on the number or something. So you have to kind of be careful. Next thing you know, you'll be reclining all the way by accident. Um, but otherwise, it was great. It was, it was a nice little, nice little sort of pod. Um, you're quite close to your partner. So whoever you're going with, it's nice if you know them because you're like literally tucked in right next to them. Versus some of the pods that have quite a bit of privacy. Yeah, we're going to Brussels now. We got rebooked onto a 7 p.m. flight, no, 5 p.m. flight. It's like 10 a.m. They wouldn't put us on anything else, which was really annoying. So, not having the best luck with Lufthansa so far this trip. I enjoyed the flight, but really, well, with the delay. Problems in the front, they were a lot friendly with the service. Very guys. true, yeah, the service guy that just fixed this now. So now we decided to go to uh, Madrid. We were doing it by connection. Just to, we have so much time to kill anyways. 52. Um, and so we're going through Brussels and we're going to fly on a couple different airlines. Well, maybe Lufthansa the whole way, I don't know. But uh, we decided why not? Instead of killing seven hours here, we're just going to uh, bounce around and uh, check out Brussels on our way to, to Madrid. So hopefully we don't have another flight issue. But we at least have two and a half hours in Brussels. We're going to get some Brussels sprouts. We're still hoping to get some currywurst here. Oh, french fries. There we get some french fries in Brussels. So, in summary, for that flight leg, like, really enjoyed it. 
Um, I didn't, it's kind of an older plane, but I thought it was really comfortable and the service was pretty good. Uh, Maybe not as good as Air Canada, but. I think the, like most people that watch these want kind of some comparison, and I feel like in the scheme of business class, it wasn't the best. Um, but I don't know if it's just, Maybe the crew we got, because usually it's like they're so on top of everything and they're kind of like attacking, like more bread, more wine, more this. And this, I really didn't feel like the case. And a couple times she had to move the cart because I had to go to the washroom. She was really annoyed. And then the one time I knew she saw me, but she pretended she didn't, and I just stood there for a long time. So there you go. It's It was fine for business class experience, but it wasn't as good as what, we, what we've been on um, compared to other ones like the Air Canada Dreamliners or some of the Asian airlines actually have been uh, amazing. Now we're going to hopefully catch the rest of our flights and head to Madrid, so stay tuned for the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here. Check out our most recent other videos over here, or subscribe to our other channel over here.